Hello and welcome to Prime at 9. I'm Esther. These are the headlines. After the centre reduced excise duty on fuel on Wednesday, Nagaland government also slashed value-added tax on petrol and diesel by Rs 7 per litre. At least 11 executive members of the Chandel Divisional Unit of the Naga People's Front and an independent candidate who contested the previous assembly polls were inducted into the Bharatiya Janata Party in the presence of Manipur Chief Minister N. Vidain Singh. Britain on Thursday became the first country in the world to approve a potentially game-changing COVID-19 antiviral pill jointly developed by US-based Merck and Ridgeback Biotherapeutics in a boost to the fight against the pandemic. Now for the news and details. Following suit with other northeastern states in reducing tax on fuel, Nagaland Chief Minister Nifurio in a tweet announced that VAT on diesel, petrol and other motor spirit will be reduced by Rs 7 per litre with immediate effect. Earlier, six of the eight northeastern states, Assam, Tripura, Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim and Mizoram announced additional cuts for VAT in petrol and diesel prices after the centre reduced excise duty on them by rupees 5 and rupees 10 on the eve of Diwali in a bid to offer relief to people reeling under the impact of spiraling fuel prices. At least 11 executive members of the Chandel Divisional Unit of the Naga People's Front and an independent candidate who contested the previous assembly polls were inducted into the Bharatiya Janata Party in the presence of Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh. Singh said that the BJP is expected at least 15 out of 20 seats in the hill districts of Manipur in the forthcoming elections. T.S. Wangam, who contested the previous general elections from 41 Chandil Assembly constituency as an independent candidate, received more votes than that of the NPF and BJP candidates put together despite losing to NPP's Let Pau Hau Kip. An influential Naga leader, Wangam has also served as the president in charge of the United Naga Council. Responding to a volley of poses, CM Biren Singh ruled out the induction of any sitting NPF MLAs into the BJP as the front is a collision partner most likely to form the next government together with the Saffron Party. He said it would be considered rude if the BJP were to talk about poaching elected representatives of its coalition partners. However, Biren Singh announced that more members from other parties would also be starting to join the BJP during this month as they keep approaching the party. He called on his party members to refrain from feeling upset as more new members from other parties are expected to join the BJP. Among the functionaries who left the NPF to join the BJP include three ADC candidates and an equal number of youth executive members from its Chandel area unit. Ah, that's that's the same person, right? In the hills also, BJP now started. It has become a people's party. Even in the hills, it is very you know encouraging. Mainly the tribal Naga peoples, the Naga brothers, just joining, leaving their another party. It is an encouraging sign. Uh, whatever Prime Minister Modi ji said, whatever BJP said, we do implement. But in the ground, after due observation of the ground situation, because we are also looking on a part of winning candidate, because we need seat in the assembly, we need seat in the parliament, not only for the, the reservation. Well, BJP will do definitely for reservation. BJP, uh, Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister will do definitely reservation, provided or oh, she is in the winnability. That is 
Britain on Thursday became the first country in the world to approve a potentially game-changing COVID-19 antiviral pill jointly developed by US-based Merck and Richback Biotherapeutics in a boost to fight against the pandemic. Britain's Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency recommended the drug Molnupiravir be used as soon as possible following a positive COVID-19 test and within five days of the onset of symptoms, citing clinical data. This is the first oral antiviral treatment for COVID-19 to get approved with a green light coming ahead of potential U.S. regulatory clearance. U.S. advisors will meet this month to vote on whether Molnupiravir should be authorized. Treatments to tackle the pandemic, which has killed more than 5.2 million people worldwide, has so far focused mainly on vaccines. Other options, including Gilead's infused antiviral remdesivir and generic steroid dexamethasone, are generally only given after a patient has been hospitalized. Merck's Molnupiravir has been closely watched since data last month showed it could have the chances of dying or being hospitalized for those most at risk of developing severe COVID-19 when given early in the illness. In what might come as a respite to commuters traveling from Kohima to Zunuboto or vice versa, the Sumihoho will be undertaking road repair works from Kandinyu to Zunuboto via Puneboka, Saptika and Guke, which is over 60 kilometers but as much shorter route since there is a major road construction work going on for the regular two-lane road. The president of the Sumi Hoho, Niketo Jimomi, informed Hornbill TV that this is an entirely voluntary social work which will involve filling of potholes and clearing of jungles. Jimomi said it is also to be self-reliant and help themselves especially during this festive season for which the said road will help travellers reach their destination on time since construction is going on in heavy scale. Jimomi also spoke to this channel over the phone and gave more insight on the initiative. Uh, this uh, we may not be very, uh, in a very large scale, okay. but uh, the roads are full of uh, pothole. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to uh, fill up with uh, sand gravels mm -hmm. and then uh, like uh, jungle clearance. Okay. And uh, since uh, this continue to Zinyamoto via uh, Rukia, like that. Okay. So that road maybe around uh, 60 or a little above uh, 60 kilometers like that. Okay. So this is the shortest road and uh, now mm -hmm. uh, two-lane construction is going on uh, via uh, Kohema to Znemoto, via Chakabama to Znemoto, via mm -hmm. Cheruba. Mm -hmm. But uh, in most of the areas uh, now construction is going on in a heavy scale, so for commuters, uh, there's lots of uh, stoppage. Yes. And uh, extra time is being consumed. And moreover, contractors are also uh, getting a problem uh, for the uh, traffic. So to use the traffic and uh, to allow the two-lane construction to go on smoothly. And moreover, now uh, Christmas and New Year and wedding season has already started. Yeah. So we wanted to maintain this uh, shortcut road mm -hmm. uh, at least for a season okay. so that uh, there wouldn't be any problem for coming to Znemoto. Okay, okay. So that is how we have okay. taken up uh, in the name of uh, Citizen Good Road Camping. Citizen Good Road? Yeah, Citizen Good Road Camping like that. Is it just a Sumihoho that's doing it? Yeah, Sumihoho, but... Uh, we we are requesting a, a, a donation is been open to all the semi citizens. Uh, any like minded can contribute towards that uh, construction. Okay. Mm. And there is no must or uh, there is no hard and fast rule. We will also take the assistance of the department, particularly like uh, JCB. Uh, JCB will be taken from the PWT department from three divisions uh, under Namato.
uh, we cannot go on a major construction. How long do you think this will take to complete, like uh, whatever jungle clearance and filling up of potholes for this more than 60 kilometer road? How how yeah. long do you uh, uh, expect? At least uh, we will take a month. Okay. Uh, but uh, we are planning that at least by this uh, November we will complete uh, our repair works. Mm -hmm. Those are not the uh, main construction, only repair works, uh, filling up the potholes and jungle clearance and. Uh, Okay. We have also requested uh, the villagers uh -huh. uh, in those areas, so they are willing to come out, and uh, they have already started, uh, from today, they have uh, already started jungle clearance. Okay. Till now, we don't have a, a proper road, since uh, the main road is under construction. Right. Uh, the other road uh, from uh, Kisak to Dayang is very horrible, so we cannot uh, apply that one. Mm -hmm. So we we opt for uh, repairing this uh, road at least for their citizens to ply freely within this uh, festival season or dry season like. Okay. The Odisha government-run Industrial Training Institute of Berhampur has developed a unique robot out of electronic waste to spread awareness among the people for environmental protection and proper management of e-waste. The 30-foot high and 3-ton robot made out of e-waste is said to be the one of the tallest e-waste sculptures in the country. The unique sculpture has been fabricated and designed by trainees at the ITI. The ITI trainees used e-waste such as electronic toys, PCB, printer, printer cartridge, RAM, keyboard, mouse, monitor, mobile, CD player, TV and VCR to design the robot. These e-waste were collected from Berampur city. Through this sculpture, the ITI Berampur students appeal to the people to reconnect with Mother Earth by being responsible through scientific management of e-waste. Dr. Rajat Kumar Panigrahe principal of ITI Berhampur congratulated the students for their creative work. In current digital era, e-waste generation is very high. E-waste comprises many toxic elements including copper, liquid crystal, lithium, mercury, nickel, selenium, arsenic and barium among others. When it is, when it is not properly managed, the risk of e-waste polluting the surrounding air and water are significantly high. As per the waste management rules of 2016, e-waste should be scientifically stored and dismantled as their unscientific management leads to pollution and various environmental hazards. Sir, the project was two और उसका हाइट जो है 30 फीट का और उसका जो वेट है 3 टन का वो ये हमारे जो बरमपुर म्युनिसिपैलिटी कमीशन से और हमारा जो आईटीआई का ई वेस्ट वेस्ट निकलता है वो इसमें फिट कर रहा है और उसके उसके लिए फिटर ट्रेड वेल्डर पेंटर अटेंशन I am Dr. Rajat Kumar Panigrahi, Principal Government IT Bahampur. The students of ITI have developed the largest e-sculpture made out of the e-waste generated in the local city. We got all the e-waste materials such as starting from TV, mobile, computer, Xerox machine, mouse, keyboard, etc. And etc. So many e-waste materials, up to 3 ton, we have collected through BMC. Our students have fabricated, designed and fabricated this beautiful sculpture. Around 30 to 40 students have worked. We got a good opportunity of skill development during this pandemic time because the time is shortage. At the same time, this e-waste sculpture gives the message to the entire world that in the coming days, e-waste will be generated and it will be accumulated like a hill. So how to protect them? This is the message to the world. 
at the same time this is the unique one will be placed in the asia book of records we will try to place it in the guinness book of world records about 90 stalls have been set up for the night carnival celebrating toku imong mini hornbill festival 2021 in woka on november 4 mondamo uvong Chairman of the Lotha Ho Ho inaugurated the stalls. A prayer dedicating the stalls was said by Bikamo Yantan, pastor of Hamtoy Baptist Church. S. Monlomo Lotha, vice chairman of the Lotha Ho Ho, briefed the stall owners about rules and regulations for the event. <laughs> Salam Witter Theological College celebrated 75 years on November 4th at the Lotha Baptist Church's Association Mission Center at Wang Kusung in Woka. Speaking on the Jubilee's theme, Echoing Grace, Reflect, Rejoice and Renew, Pastor of Ekyo Yan Baptist Church, Rev. Dr. E. Nrio Izong, said grace comes from God for his people in all circumstances of life and it is grace that enables the people to reflect upon the hardship and challenges of the past and turn them into praiseworthy experiences to renew themselves towards achieving greater and higher goals for God's glory. He recalled the selfless and dedicated role of the pioneering men and women who shaped the journey and progress of the college 75 years ago from a humbling Bible school in the year 1946. He said they had indeed deep-seated vision and immensely contributed to it and have come thus far. I was affiliated to the Senate of Sirabu College University. The college remained indebted to him for his tireless contribution. I wish to describe him. I greet all of you in the name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for I am to be speaker in this auspicious occasion. Indeed, a spiritual jubilation to experience and hear out the grace of God in abundance. With due gratitude to the Jubilee Committee, I take this opportunity to greet and welcome everyone in the name of our triumph God. In the program, E. Monbemo Patton, Principal Secretary to the Government of Nagaland, exhorted the gathering. He stressed that reaching 75 years entails responsibilities and that is what most important is to have a roadmap for the future generation to equip them not only for academic excellence, but to help them strive and excel in their calling in a holistic manner by understanding the needs of this comparatively young and developing society. In other news, a two-day two skills training program for women in cooking, baking pastries, salad making and pickles organized by the Palm Baptist Christian Association began today at the PBCA in Longling. The program was sponsored by Dr. Upang Jungla, Chief Medical Officer of Longling. Moala and Asangla were the trainers at the event. Dr. Upang Jungla said women are homemakers and in the Naga society, women play a vital role. She added that life is a process of learning and that people should never stop learning. She said it is necessary for people to know about nutrition provided by different types of food that they consume. Women's Secretary of the PBCA, Ang Pen 
thanked the CMO for her efforts in uplifting women folk of the POM community and requested the gathering to learn from the event. My Gikanabnila Church also did her pastor like spouses Nishina, women pastor Nishina, no let church they help Kura, kitchen they help Kura, Nigan, select Kuna Takaganke, Ekpari to upgrade Kurigina or skill training to win Munja. Achi trainers can give an Aisha. Be she important or important person can you Aigana say? Avani Achi train Kurigana. Mm, I will not churches can know, neighbors can know, or it will training to one again. Women are the homemaker, and in our society, women plays a very vital role. The whole of life from the moment you are born to the moment you die is a process of learning. Rashtra Janata Dal leader Lalu Prasad Yadav on Wednesday said people will not get any real relief from the reduction in excise duty on petrol and diesel announced by the centre and that the petroleum prices will be raised again after assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh. The leader said that reduction in excise duty on petrol and diesel was inadequate. The RJD leader reached Delhi on Wednesday for a routine checkup and test. He alleged that the Modi government has done drama of reducing petrol prices by rupees 5 and if the prices are reduced by rupees 50 per liter then it will bring relief and petroleum prices will be increased again after UP elections the RGD leader told ANI Narendra Modi ji jo natak ki hai 5 rupees ghatane ka diesel fuel par ye bogus aap ko man mein serious baat hai the center on Wednesday reduced excise duty on petrol by rupees 5 and that on diesel by rupees 10. RJD leader and former Bihar Deputy Chief Minister Tejaswi Yadav said that the price of petrol should be brought down below rupees 70 per liter. Earlier, BJP felt that rupees 70 per liter petrol was costly and now they have raised the prices above rupees 100 per liter, he said. They should bring the price of petrol under rupees 70 per liter, at least, he said. That's all for the news. I'm Esther. Keep watching Hornbill TV.